Hi everyone, just so you know there's a larger version of this video within the welcome module which can be found on the home page, but I threw it here on our home page, this video, a smaller version of this video here on our home page just to make sure that everyone's going to see it when they first log into the course for the first time. Uh, the purpose of this video is I'd like to, one, you know, welcome you to Co-op 3150 Design Principles 2 and uh, show you just briefly where some things are in the course just to make sure that we're all on the same page. I know all of you are probably very seasoned online learners, so I don't need to have this video be very exhaustive on how to use the platform, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand where some key things are that we'll be utilizing here within the course just to make sure that we're all successful. So again, welcome to Co-op 3150 Design Principles 2. Uh, who am I? Well, my name is Dave and I will be your instructor for this course. Uh, I look forward to meeting you, or in a sense seeing you, this week online. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Our class will be set up very similar to how other classes that you've taken within the co-op certificate or the co-op program or Matthew Peter Science <laughs> um, have been in the past online. Uh, all of your tools that you'll be utilizing are over here on the left and don't forget you can expand and collapse this window. But the way that I like to organize the courses, I'm going to try to give you everything that you would need right here on the home page for each week. So this week, you know, we have our video, we have everything here within this welcome module. Be sure that you review that. Be sure that you check out everything here within the syllabus. The syllabus is going to outline specifically, you know, how everything's going to be graded and talk to you specifically about the term project. Make sure that you review that. The first two readings within the course are going to be found here within the textbook e-reserves area. In my classes, I like to have this external sources page. I'm going to go to that real quick. And here I provide you a list of resources that I think will help you continue your learning in the course. Uh, one of the key ones that you'll notice here at the very beginning is the resources from lynda.com and I'll talk to you a little bit more about uh, which videos I suggest you guys watching from lynda.com but just here I provide you links to jump to the page on lynda.com the problem is is that these links you have to authenticate and uh, I can't actually link and, and provide you a login to I mean it will actually give you a login to authenticate to go to the link but for some reason the best way to get into lynda.com is to actually go through the technology resources page which I'll show you how to get to that from the library log in there and then go to the lynda.com homepage and then search for the videos that you need these links will just jump you to a non-authenticated page that has the video and the description of the video if anything that'll help you find see the video that you're looking for at just at a quick glance and then you can go back and log in so just as an FYI about that but here I provide you links to them and descriptions of the videos that I suggest you guys watching those videos are really what they're designed to be is the demonstrational portion of the course which often you miss when you take an online course because so I don't want you guys just to be feeling like you're just sitting here learning from your book I want you guys to feel like you're learning from myself because I am going to be creating some videos for you but also other experts in the field and then everything that you need for week one is going to be found here within the week one module when you go into the week one module you'll see that we have we start off with an um, introduction page where I just introduce you to the week and I give you a specific list of objectives uh, that I'm ask, expecting you to complete over the course of this week so be sure that you review these I also will commonly have a video on the home page of the week one module which will kind of introduce you to what you're talk, what you're learning about this week and then over here on the left hand side you'll see a table of contents here I've organized the course each week into basically three different groups the web development life cycle which we're going to be using kind of as a a framework which I know you guys have used in other classes but it's a great framework for us to use to talk about um, the development of a website and then I also provide you additional resources here this is where you're going to find the extra credit blog post um, and then uh, more in, uh, information for example the Linda videos that I'm asking you guys to watch will be found here under the additional resources area so be sure that you're viewing everything within the module these um, these sections expand and collapse. Make sure that you're not missing anything in here. This is key things that I prepared for you guys to learn, just as if you were sitting with me in the classroom. And then at the end of every learning module, the section is the activities section. Make sure that you review the activities page because it's going to outline specifically everything that you're supposed to be reading, what we're supposed to be discussing together within the course, and then the assignments. Um, I'm very specific on how I want things to be turned in and I also am very methodical to make sure that you guys know exactly what you have to do and there shouldn't really be any questions but again if there is questions let me show you where the best place to ask those to me are 
I would prefer that you guys ask me questions here within this general questions area. By going into the general questions area, you can then ask me questions publicly where the whole class can uh, see. Other students could perhaps respond. Other students could get answers to their questions that you may be asking first. This is very similar to the way that it is in a face-to-face in -face classroom. So here you can come in here and ask me questions by clicking on questions for the instructor, create a message. It would be helpful in your question if you could be very uh, specific about your subject line. Like I have questions about the week one readings or something like that. And then ask me your question and hit post. And then I'm going to be checking this area every single day, perhaps numerous times a day, to jump in here and quickly answer your questions. Now if I'm ever planning on being away from the course for a few days, I would let you guys know. But generally speaking, this is the best way to ask me questions. If you guys do send me questions, more, uh, a more personal question that you don't want the whole class to see, the best way to do that is through the World Classroom Mail Tool. By going to the Mail Tool, you guys are familiar with this, I'm assuming, you just create a message. And again, the same thing will apply. Make sure that you give me a very descriptive uh, subject line. You can select me in the two box. And this message would go directly to me. I would prefer um, that these questions that you send to me can come to me through the course so that they're logged and archived within the course itself, just in case there's any problems after the course is over. We can always restore a course and go back in and check on our correspondence. Um, so again, if you have a more personal question that you don't want the whole class to see, ask it this way. If, your question, if you do ask me a question that I think the whole class could have benefited from, I would send you a note and say, hey, do you mind? I'm actually going to go share this with the class. And what I would then do is I would go into the general questions area and I would just copy and paste the message that you asked and my response for the class so that the whole class can see. I'm going to go back to the home page. And then another thing that I have provided for you down here at the very bottom is links to the Math Computer Science Department, the George Harder Walker School of Business, and then links to our specific design certificate. So make sure, I don't know which certificate you guys are working on. I have students often that come to me from both certificates. But uh, most of them normally are the web design certificate. So you can actually click on this link here, and it would take you to the spot on the Math Computer Science website that talks about the design certificate. Because I just want to make sure that everybody knows what courses they need to be taking, how the, where they're headed, stuff like that. And again, of course, if you have questions, ask me questions. And I'm not an advisor, but I can link you to people in the department that can help better answer your questions. Now, I can probably answer some of your questions, but again, I'm not an advisor. Um, assignments. As they're listed at the end of all of the learning modules, one of the key things that I want you guys to always remember, what I want to make sure you understand, whenever you guys go to the assignment tool, anything that you find within your inbox, these are assignments that are currently in your inbox, currently in your view, that you guys need to submit and send to me. Okay. Once you send me an assignment, it will not show up here in your inbox anymore. After I've graded your assignment, you're going to come over here to the graded tab, and the demo student hasn't, I haven't graded any of the demo student's assignments, but once I've graded your assignment, you're going to find it right here in the assignment area, graded. You're going to go into it, and I'm going to have specific feedback for you. That's often feedback that I'm not, that essentially isn't feedback that I'm giving anybody else in the class. So when I review your term projects, when I review your drafts and different things like that, you're going to be able to come in here into the graded area and receive some personalized feedback for you based on your assignment that you submitted to me. So it's very key that you're not forgetting that. And I'm also going to remind you about this again, but very, very important that you understand this cycle of assignments. They first come to you in the inbox. If they're in their inbox, there are assignments that you guys need to do. So make sure that you're coming here each week and that you won't find it, that you've submitted everything that needs to be submitted. Um, so make sure that you do that. Uh, another thing, we could just jump over to the discussions area. All of your discussions are organized within these categories. So for example, all of our general questions are always up here at the top. And then all of our week one questions are all within this week one area. So here, this is where you can introduce yourself to the class. And then we have two discussion questions that you guys are getting grades on this week. You're going to be doing an executive brief brainstorming in terms of planning and analysis. And then you're going to do an executive brief brainstorming in terms of similar sites. And when I get into the week one week, the week one lecture video, I'm going to talk about these discussions in more, in more depth. Anyways, I hope you are ready to begin this course. When you go into the week one module, you're going to find a specific video for me that's going to talk about week one. But I hope you guys are all excited and that you understand that we need to go into the welcome module this week. We need to go into the syllabus. Here's your e-reserves. I'm sorry. Here's your first two chapters, external sources, week one module, 
general questions. Once we get um, everything going on the right track this first week, maybe even into the second week, making sure that we're doing everything the way that it needs to be done so that we can all learn together within the course. The whole course really is going to go smoothly. I hope you guys are excited about that. Um, anyways, the way I like to end all of my videos is I want to just encourage everyone to ask questions. Um, I don't want any questions to go unanswered, so be sure that you let the class or I know if you have any questions. So often, other people in the class are going to have answers to your questions because we really are this, you know, this larger online community. I don't want anyone to feel like you guys are in this course alone. You're not just sitting there with your textbook learning by yourself. You are in a large collaborative class um, where we're all going to be helping each other succeed um, to accomplish the main goal, which is to have this finished. Uh, uh, larger website than perhaps a uh, website that you guys have ever done before. Um, anyways, I ex I'm excited about talking to you guys more about that. Um, anyway, so let the class or I know if you have any questions.